Hey, what's up, junior golfers? Coach Mike checking in with you. I just got done watching some highlights of one of my favorite golfers of all time, Arnold Palmer. Arnold Palmer was a legend, an icon. His nickname is The King. Everything about Arnold Palmer was cool. He had this really cool fast swing, a really cool follow through, and his head nodded almost as if his eyes were trying to will the ball to land where he wanted it. Which made me think, he had a pretty cool swing. Golf swings are a lot like snowflakes. No two swings are the same. Some golfers have a very short, abbreviated backswing, while other golfers have a much longer backswing before they go down and hit the ball. But one thing all golfers have, good golfers and great golfers, dare I say, is a good, solid, fundamental grip. They all grip the club very, very fundamentally. So what we're gonna do today is we're gonna take a look at Arnold Palmer, his swing, and then Coach Mike here is gonna teach you how to grip the club like the king, Arnold Palmer. When you look at Palmer's swing, a trained eye will see that it was very fast and broke almost every rule in the book. You may ask yourself, with a swing like that, how did the king win seven majors and rack up 62 wins on the PGA Tour? Well, what made his swing work was his adherence to grip the club properly. All right, junior golfers, now that we've seen Arnold Palmer swing it, let's grip it like the king himself. For this drill, grab any club out of your bag. Any club will do. Grab your favorite club. I grab my favorite, the seven iron. Now that you have your club, go ahead and set it down square. Our first step to getting this grip that we're looking for, just like the king, is to take our left hand and put the grip in the fingers of our left hand, just like that. Next, take your left thumb and wrap it over top of the grip with our thumb leading slightly right of center down the grip. Your hand will form a V. Your thumb and your index finger there will form a V. That's a very important aspect of this grip. A good way to know that you're in the right position is to take your grip and let go and just hold it with your left ring finger on the bottom of the shaft and the heel pad of your palm holding the club upright. That right there lets you know that your grip is in a proper position. Next, we're gonna use our right hand just like we did with the left. We're gonna get that grip going right down our fingers, right down the middle there. And we're gonna take that right thumb and we are gonna wrap it over top, almost forming a trigger between our right index finger and our right thumb. That right there is a good, solid position to be in. I like that grip a lot. Next, now that we have that grip in place, we wanna talk about grip pressure. Now, if gripping the club as strong as you can is a 10 out of 10, I think I'd like to see you at about a five out of 10. This is gonna allow you to let you waggle the club and get a feel for that club face throughout the entire swing. It's really important to feel the position of the club face down and through impact. That's gonna lead you to hit better shots down the road. All right, junior golfers. So Arnold Palmer may not have had the prettiest swing you ever seen, but he definitely had the perfect grip. A grip that was so perfect that he never changed it throughout his entire career. In fact, his entire lifetime. He learned that grip at the age of four from his father. So he was always confident in that grip. He was always locked in and loaded. And that's what I want you to do while you're at home. I want you to practice that grip. Let's get comfortable with it. Let's feel it. Let's trust it. And let's stay confident. And we'll be out on the course in no time, hitting amazing shot after amazing shot. In the meantime, please follow the First Tee Greater Akron on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram for more videos from us. We look forward to seeing you when we get a grip on this coronavirus. Thank you.